So yeah, I changed my hairstyle, hair reveal, very soon, it's coming, it's almost there, any moment now, any moment now, there we go, yay, you think that's it, boom baby, woo, <laughs> it's me and my new hairstyle, hi. They are not styled as they should be, but unfortunately I forgot how it is to have short hair and I don't have um, cosmetics that I need. So uh, before I buy cosmetics that I need to style my hair, I'm going to have them like very poorly styled. Here I try to uh, use straightener and also here, but believe me, my hair Curly, I am like a little sheep sometimes, but we'll get to it because today's video will be only about my hair and because May is Mental Health Awareness Month and today I'm going to talk about my hair from the perspective of mental health. So I need to start with a few informations and disclaimers. <laughs> so first of all, this makeup, I got you covered. Here I'm going to leave video that is absolutely like this is the same makeup but in this uh, video I used like a transition shade but uh, technique is the same you can achieve this makeup with this uh, tuto let's say tutorial because I tested skin realities in this video no matter if you need tutorial here it is. Also, what I have on my face cosmetic list is down below in the description box. And another information, I decided that I will separate two videos. So today I'm going to talk about my hair and mental health. And in my next video, I'm going to do Q&A, my first one Q&A. So um, I just think it will be much better because I already received so many, thank you so much, so many fantastic questions from you that it will be like, there is a lot to talk about. So in this case, if you have any questions for me, leave them down below. On Monday, I'm going to have Q&A. So you have time like somewhere to Saturday to ask me a question. Feel free to ask me anything. And now let's talk about disclaimers. Like we should, if we are talking about mental health, whatever I tell you today, I feel comfortable with this. I don't have any issues with my past. I don't have any regrets, I don't have any um, like pain inside me. I am in the best moment on, of my life right now. I don't have issues, problems to talk about it. However, I know that probably some topics might be uncomfortable for the listeners. <laughs> so I will try to be as much delicate as I can. But like I said, I don't have any issues to talk about it. There is actually only one topic right now that I'm not like fully comfortable to talk about uh, because uh, I feel uh, like an imposter when I talk about it. However, it's very related to one of the questions I've received for the Q&A. So I think I will not have a choice <laughs> and I will have to talk about it. And that's a joke if you if you don't get it. Like I always have a choice, okay? <laughs> Whatever I'm going to tell you, it's like a tale, okay? <laughs> it's just like a tale. And one last, I think, disclaimer is that I am after psychotherapy. I will always forever and ever recommend you psychotherapy and seeking help from specialists because sometimes friends are not enough and uh, this is just like being sick. 
and I will always fully recommend psychotherapy because it literally saved my life. So I hope that today's video will be a great tale and uh, we're gonna to have some fun. Uh, please don't be sad, please don't be uncomfortable. I am really telling you this as just a story and uh, I feel great even talking about this. I feel great and I hope that I will joke a lot. <laughs> but, but, but this is like really... Uh, Funny thing that probably it's the slav thing that we can talk about not nice and virtues of ours in a very funny way because it's just uh, who we are. <laughs> so yes, probably I'm going to joke a lot and if I'm joking and I'm fine with it and I'm laughing, you should laugh too. I don't want you to pity me, I don't want you to be sorry for me and I don't want you to be sad. Because mental health, what we've got through, it's who we are, it creates us, and it's just as much important as like being disabled. And disabled people don't want you to be sad for them. And this is what I want from you also. Don't be sad for me, laugh with me, have fun with me. This channel is to be like your safe space in the internet and this video is also meant to be video that will help you get to know me better. So let's start! This video will be full of amazing photos. <laughs> I'm going to help myself a little with my phone because I have these photos here so I hope I won't lose my track. <laughs> Alright, so let's start from when I was a kid. First photo I had is like end of my primary school and beginning of my like middle school so I was like somewhere 12, 13 years old and I had very short hair. Like on this photo my hair is pretty long. I had shorter hair. I had moments in my life when I had a lot shorter hair, when basically people thought that I am a boy. <laughs> Which, by the way, when I was a kid I wanted to be a boy, but that's a completely different story, okay? <laughs> so back then my hair was short because I hate it. And it's not like I hated my hair because they were not nice, not beautiful or um, the color or something. No, because they were long. I hated long hair. Like I hated when hair was everywhere. I just wanted to have short hair because I was like very energetic kid. I like to run, play football, um, climb trees, walking in the mountains, swim and I was everywhere. <laughs> and my hair was like the biggest limit of mine. So I always wanted to keep them very short. Unfortunately, this is uh, this starting of not nice story, which will also continue in my Q&A, but uh, I will try to be delicate. The people who have the most impact on you aren't actually strangers. These people are your family. And you for sure know that it hurts much more if the family says that you're, for example, I don't know, fat, than someone totally strange. So when I had my first communion, this is how this, this is called, I believe, I had the shortest hair from every single girl from my school and yes I heard some stuff that I should have beautiful long hair because girls need to have long hair and I didn't like long hair at that moment so I was the only girl that without the white dress probably I would be taken as a boy. They allowed me to not wear dresses, they allowed me to have short hair, they allowed me to not play with dolls, but in the same time, it's not like, hooray, you have short hair, hooray, you don't like dresses. It was more like, why you don't like dresses? You know how you would look beautiful in this dress and with piggy tails and with ponytails and uh, because you will look much more girlish, you know? 
but I didn't care. I just wanted to feel comfortable and short hair was very much comfortable for me. But as you might expect it, <laughs> and someday in my life I become a teenager. So my hair started to grow. I allowed them to grow. I started to not care about uh, having short hair anymore. It's like a little pressure from the environment because every single girl in the school has a boyfriend and you don't have, and probably it's the issue because you have short hair. From some perspective, it was a pressure because I believe that maybe, in fact, long hair would be uh, something more uh, interesting in me. <laughs> But in the same time, it wasn't forced. So it wasn't like I was crying, uh, okay, I will grow my hair because I'm ugly. It wasn't like that. I just feel that I was in this point in my life where I decided, well, maybe let's just grow them and see what will happen. Oh, and by the way, that's the English stuff. It from time to time, I will tell, not hair is, but hairs are, and I'm going to treat them like hairs, not hair. It's because of the language. In Polish, one hair is one hair, two hairs and more hairs are hairs. So this, this whole hairstyle are hairs, not hair. And this is one thing that still I have issue in English, so excuse me if I'm still doing this mistake. Like seriously, this is one of this thing in English that it's hard for me to, to remember, so I'm trying my best. <laughs> so as you can see now, I let my hair grow. I really started to like them. Pretty funny that when i looking at these pictures, I can see now that my hair are truly curly and how the hell I haven't noticed that when I was a kid, I have no idea. This is like whole life in, in lie. <laughs> the fact that I have curly hair discovered at the beginning of this year. At this point, I started to very much like my hair. I liked how they look like. I started to just like how they are growing, how beautiful they are. But I haven't known at that moment that this liking my hair is a little monster because it wasn't just liking my hair it started to be a little obsession and it's because actually two things but first thing was that I started to be praised of course because I had longer hair probably you know this technique with the dog or not, not only with the dog if you praise your dog he will know that he does something good. And the same rule is with kids and young teenagers. Not only because it also works for adults, but it's like the most important for a young human. If you are praised because you do something, you want to do it more. I was praised because I had longer hair when you're wearing glasses so your eyes like uh, they're beautiful but they don't don't work <laughs> that's the one thing you're fat at least this is what i was hearing a lot from my family from my family biological family like uh, believe me i have much better family now <laughs> and uh, also i heard much more than others which i really thought at some point that i am crazy which, by the way, I wasn't, but that's the story I allow myself to leave for Q&A <laughs> because I had a question to tell a story. By the way, I had a, a few requests to tell some story from my life, which is amazing. Someone wants to listen to me. I was fat, I was blind, I was hearing diff uh, weird stuff. I wasn't girlish enough. So what I had, like something good, my hair. I've get to the point where my hair started to be obsession. When I thought that like the only thing I have and is gorgeous in me is my hair and I need to care about them and never cut them and it's like the best thing I ever have because my personality is shit, I am fat, no one likes me and oh, but my hair, my hair loves me and I love my hair. Plus, the worst part of it, my hair was the only thing in my life I had control over. And this is actually how my obsession started. I knew 
that I was grown enough that, uh, well, no one with force will take me to hairdresser, for example. This is the only thing I could choose. Because believe me, sometimes I couldn't choose how to dress. And as you can see, I loved black. And yes, why do you always wear black? Oh, it's not girlish. Oh, 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 the colors, blah, 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 blah. So many years later and I am still in love with black. Huh? What's now, haters? So yes, I let my hair grow. And I was experimenting with them, like with hairstyles. So my favorite hairstyle was, of course, my hair, like down just like it because i had a lot of hair they were long beautiful and i needed to show them to the world but i had also two other <laughs> hairstyles that i like and it was braid or braids but that was later and oh this one this is this was like my favorite hairstyle and it was like ponytail but not like full ponytail i will show you this is ponytail so I did something like this. Oh, so I had this like loop and some hairs and this fabric handband. I still have it, by the way. And also I still have this dress. It's, 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 you know, it's, it's waiting till I uh, lose a little weight. <laughs> a little. Oh. I can now tell you why I was afraid of hairdressers. My hair was like my castle, the only thing I could control. So um, every time when I went to hairdresser and it was like only tips, I was losing like this isn't a tip, okay? This is a not this. And with my hair obsession, it was a tragedy because I felt like someone took more than should and I really started to avoid hairdressers. This was the first time when I go to hairdresser and it was only to make a hairstyle. So that was my pram, by the way. And then I went to university. I was a little bit more away from the people who um, weren't nice for me. And then for the first time, I really started about cutting my hair without the influence of these people. I was starting to thinking about maybe they are too long. Maybe it's too much, especially that my field of study required me to pin my hair. Seriously, it was required. <laughs> you, you will know why in my Q&A video, because I have question about my university and with this long hair it was impossible to tie my hair with just an elastic band there was too much of hairs they were super long also very dense it started to be just impossible so i started to do braids and to some point it was like very 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 much comfortable but then it was like very very too much and i discovered new technique to tie my hair with stick i really recommend this stuff like one stick extremely long and dense hair who needs elastic band like i said when i started studies i was wondering if i shouldn't cut my hair they were long they were uh, heavy so i had a lot of hairs, they were heavy, long, dense, even like stupid uh, winter hat. I, I had to buy like special, like bigger winter hat because I needed to take all these hairs into this cap. It wasn't very much comfortable. And my hair started to be a little burden for me. But then I heard, don't you think you should cut your hair because you have so long hair and long hair that doesn't look good on you with your obesity and uh, your weight. You don't look good in your um, long hair, you know? Let's say that still, when I was a student, I was still young, <laughs> I was still rebel, especially that I was 
living not in my city, so I was away a little bit from people who were toxic. You know how rebels respond when someone said that you should do something. They don't do it. And when someone said don't do it, they will do it. So that's why I... I haven't cut my hair because someone said I should. Or even I have to because I wasn't looking good. Because uh, with my weight it wasn't okay, because I looked very bad, because with my hair I was looking fat, well, I was fat, but my hair was making me even more fat. <laughs> now we're going to 2017, we're going to jump to 2017. This was the year when I had maybe not the like the longest hair because the longest hair I had actually last year but this was the year when I have photos of my very long hair and you can see that I could sit on them like the very very the longest hairs in my hairstyle were so long that I could sit on them they were so long that your 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 bottom cheeks eats your hair when you're taking shower. <laughs> Let's say this. <laughs> Actually, that was pretty funny. So in 2017, I started psychotherapy. Listen, I have something like resting bitch face. Okay, wait, wait. This is my face. My resting face. And because my face looks like that, while resting, very nice and close to me people, and you know who I'm talking about, said that my eyesight can kill and I am looking like I am still angry and why I am still angry. So I had this joke that if my eyesight kills, then I am a Medusa and these are my snakes and I love this joke like so so much but after psychotherapy although I still love them I started to like this obsession of mine is started to chill like it's no longer something like oh my god don't listen to them I will never catch you it was something more like maybe someday why not it's not a stupid idea so if this maybe appeared then i knew i was on a good way to be free from my obsession let's let's go to present days this year and year before so 2020 and 2021 last year i really started to thinking about cutting my hair i even starting to think about shaving my hair and that's why i decided to shave some of my hair because like I, I knew if I wouldn't do it I won't be happy there was something that was like no don't do it these are your hairs don't cut them you shouldn't you love them something like this obsession is always there and now we're going to the part that is the most cruel like I said I don't have issues with that I am just I am afraid that you will feel uncomfortable please please do not feel uncomfortable it's normal and uh, actually it happens to a lot of people maybe you know that there is something like divorcing your parents and this is what happened at the end of 2020 and that completely changed my life then i started to really thinking about cutting my hair and at the beginning of 2021 I cut my hair by myself and I was here on this channel telling you that I cut my hair and I was very happy about it. I felt a big relief when I cut this hair right now. I couldn't done it earlier because in Ireland we had lockdown since December and now the hairdressers are open. If the hairdressers were opened before like in January or February or March I would cut my hair just a few months ago because I was ready because this was the last break this was the last how to call it like the last Leanne that is pulling you down I'm free 
now I am fully free. My hair was just obsession and like store of very of history, of not nice history, of bad moments, of fat shaming, of well, there was a lot of it, even threatening me. Some of them even was unlawful menace. I'm sorry, I I don't know how to say this in a more delicate way. It is what it is. I've been through like a lot. I am a survivor and that's why I really need to create here on my YouTube channel this like pocket in the internet when you can go and forget about reality because reality sometimes is very cruel and we need some place to go and to be just behind time and place we're getting to the end so last few things about my hair before I cut it, I believe that the, my hair is like very, very much unhealthy. Actually, only tips were unhealthy and split it, but my hair luckily was very, very healthy, which was like whew, great, because at the beginning of this year, I discovered that I have curly hair. I am somewhere between curly and super wavy. This is something where I am. When your hair are curly, you need to treat them differently. And I was really afraid that years of treating them like they are more wavy than curly uh, destroyed them. Luckily, not. That was actually a good thing that uh, came out of my obsession. I discovered proper, professional, Hair care. Right now I am in shock how little shampoo I need to wash my hair. Listen, I cut half a kilo of hair. I feel so light. I feel like I lose weight. <laughs> By the way, my weight is completely different topic and it just needs like a separate video maybe not this year like listen next year is also uh, like mental health awareness month so we can talk next year about my weight you think my hair obsession was caused by some traumas watch till i will tell you about my weight issues <laughs> I hope you got to know me better. I hope that you had fun because, like I said, it's just a story. Nothing more and nothing less. Don't forget about asking me questions for the Q&A. That would be awesome. And right now, I, I won't end this video like always. I want to end this different way. I want to say something that I would say to myself when I was at my lowest point. You are the great human being. And if you don't believe it, it's just you haven't discovered it yet. Be patient, be strong, you're valuable, you're important, your life matters, you matter. Now go and be amazing. Good luck.